Hi, I'm Reese Grimsley. I'm a systems applications engineer with Texas Instruments. And I'm here showing the AM62A for a coffee roast recognition demo with Edge Impulse. So what we're seeing here is a demo that's trying to show recognizing different levels of roasting for coffee. So we have all the way from green unroasted coffee beans up to slightly roasted to a light drinkable roast to kind of a dark roast and then just a burnt, uh, almost entirely undrinkable roast. So we're seeing this as a kind of going through different levels of roasting for like a machine vision type of application on a processor like the AM62A, which has two tops of deep learning performance, uh, an integrated ISP and four uh, A53 uh, ARM processors. So what's happening in this application is we have a USB camera that's pulling an input that's going into a middleware called GStreamer that's doing a lot of pre-processing, like scaling the image, uh, doing color conversions, and preparing the information to go into the deep learning accelerator. From there, it's using a model trained by Edge Impulse, a YOLO X model, to recognize where the coffee beans are within the image. And then we pull down into application code to recognize the actual level of roastness using some traditional computer vision methods. Uh, from there, we draw some text onto the screen to show what we recognized, um, and then display that onto the monitor through the processor. So in this application, we trained a YOLO X model to recognize where the coffee beans were in the image using Edge Impulse. Now, that turned out to be difficult to use that model to recognize where the beans are in addition to the level of roastness, and that's basically because we're using transfer learning in this context. So with transfer learning, we are using a model that's already been pre-trained on a very large data set, but unfortunately, most of the images in those data sets aren't actually based on coloration, and they're more based on shapes and sizes of different objects. So trying to use a coloration-based application turned into a bit of an issue. But instead, we could use the output of Yellow X from that Edge Impulse model to come in and use some more conventional computer vision methods um, that people would often use in something like machine learning, like histogramming and some basic clustering algorithms to instead recognize what these are. So we're really seeing a merging of those two. And where Edge Impulse was really helpful here is that it wasn't immediately obvious why the the problem was failing to be recognized just with deep learning on its own. So with the fact that we could manage projects very easily, we could iterate through the data set, collect new images, relabel images, um, those sort of tools and management software made it much, much easier to develop this application and come to a final demo um, that actually showed what we wanted to do accurately on the AM62A. And so this processor, along with some of the other ones from Texas Instruments like the AM68A and the TDA4VM, they're all supported on Edge Impulse now um, quite recently. And so we can train models on Edge Impulse, um, compile them for the architecture, and then provide some software to the SOC um, to get you up and running very, very quickly, as well as let you uh, move into more of an application code to where you can start going with your full application and developing quickly and easily. Uh, the primary way that Edge Impulse was helpful for this demo is that I had to iterate through the project multiple times. And so having online tools that made it easy to collect new data set, label the images, and isolate where things were failing and looking at sort of these feature representations for the images made it much easier to kind of boil down, figure out what the real problems were, um, and continue iterating through the project until we had uh, a demo that was actually working. And it also helped that it was compiling the models for us since that uh, generally takes some time for our processor to have the model compiled that runs on the accelerator itself. Thank <laughs> you.